Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Greenberg. Congratulations on finally deciding to have a laser vision correction at Greenberg LASIK, where your vision is our focus. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to review what you can expect to happen during the PRK surgery, and I'll go through all your post-operative instructions. Since 2011, I've dedicated my career to laser vision corrections, and I've performed tens of thousands of laser procedures, so know you're in good hands. My job is to get you through this as quickly and easily as possible with the results you're going to be amazed by. If you're watching this video, you've decided that PRK is a better option for you than LASIK. The results between PRK and LASIK are the same, but the healing time is longer for PRK. I had PRK in 1997 and I'm still seeing great in both eyes. The PRK procedure is simple and takes approximately 10 minutes. I'm going to walk you through each step of it. My job is to get you through this as quickly and easily as possible with the best possible outcome. Most people are nervous before the procedure, and we're going to give you a Valium to help you relax. When we're done, you're going to say, wow, this was quicker and easier than I thought. I don't know what I was so nervous about. I'm going to walk you through each step of the process, and it's going to go faster if you hold still, so try not to move your head or your feet. The anesthetic drops will be placed in your eyes just before you start, so you won't feel any pain during the procedure, but you may feel a mild pressure. If there is any discomfort, let me know, and I'll do everything I can to alleviate it. While the laser is firing, you're going to hear some clicking sounds and you're going to smell an odor similar to burning hair. The smell is from the laser sculpting the cornea. Before surgery, remember to remove any makeup you have left on and wash off any perfume or cologne. When we're finished with the laser surgery, your vision is going to be blurry and it's going to remain blurry for three to five days. I'm going to put a contact lens on your eyes immediately following the surgery. These contacts act as bandages. You don't need to do anything with them. We'll take them out for you in five to seven days. A combination prescription drop containing an antibiotic and a steroid is going to be given to you when you check in for surgery. This should be used four times a day at breakfast, lunch, dinner, and bedtime. For the next three to four days, you're going to have a sensation of something in your eyes. They may feel dry and generally uncomfortable. It may be very sensitive to light, have burning and tearing, and possibly swelling of your lids. Most patients experience the worst of these symptoms the second day after the procedure. All of this is expected with PRK. Just be patient and you'll be back to normal in a few days. For additional comfort, I'll give you an anesthetic drop. This is a very potent medication and should be used sparingly. It will completely numb your eyes and make them feel great for 30 to 45 minutes. And you can use this up to four times a day, but if you use it more than four times a day, it will significantly slow down the healing process and prolong the discomfort phase. If you need to use this drop, it's best to use it right before bedtime or at a nap. Artificial tear samples are included in the LASIK bag and you can use them as much as you want anytime you feel dry or blurry. I do recommend using these every two hours the first week. At your post-op visits, we're gonna guide you on tear use frequency based on how your eyes are responding. The tears should be in the preservative-free vials which are sold over the counter in pharmacies and grocery stores in case you need more. Before you leave, I'm going to give you sunglasses to put on. You want to wear these sunglasses or any pair of sunglasses outside for one month following the surgery. When you do shower, just don't let the water hit you right in the face. Tilt your head back to rinse the shampoo out of your air. You want to not get any water in your eyes for at least a week. And women, don't use any eye makeup for a week. This includes eyeliner, mascara, and eyeshadow. You can't expect to have lots of glare and halos the first few weeks, which are rings around car headlights or streaks coming out of the light. This is going to improve significantly in the first two to three weeks, so please be patient. Also, fluctuation in your vision is common. PRK can sometimes take months for the final results to fully appear. Ultimately, however, the results between PRK and LASIK are the same. Thanks for choosing Greenberg LASIK. How should I use my eye drops? Use the medicated drops we give you at breakfast, lunch, dinner, and bedtime. In addition, there are artificial tears in your bag you want to use every two hours for the first week and then four times a day for the next month. We'll help guide you on how to use your tears at your post-op visits. If you are feeling dry or brillier, you can use the tears as much as you need, but remember to wait 10 minutes after using a medicated drop to put the artificial tears in. If you're having trouble getting any of the drops in, you can lie down, tilt your head back, place the drop right in the corner, 
blink a few times and the drops will get right in. The anesthetic drops should only be used as needed. You can use them up to four times a day, but using them more than four times a day can significantly slow down the healing process and prolong the discomfort phase. It's best to use these right before a nap or at bedtime. When can I return to work? Most people go back to work five to seven days after the PRK. When can I start driving? Most people are able to drive five to six days following PRK, but it can take longer. On the visit when we remove your contacts, we'll give you guidance on when you can start driving. Use common sense and don't drive at any time you feel your vision is not where it needs to be. When can I wear makeup? Don't wear any eyeliner, eyeshadow, or mascara for a week after the surgery. You don't want to get any makeup in your eyes or have to rub them to remove the makeup. Does the PRK procedure hurt? You should feel only a mild pressure sensation while you're in the laser room. Most people leave the room saying it was much quicker and easier than they thought it was going to be. Can I read or watch TV the night of my procedure? Your vision is going to be blurry the day of the surgery, but watching TV or reading won't hurt your eyes. When can I mow the lawn or garden? You should wait a week before engaging in these activities. When can I exercise? Exercising is okay tomorrow, just be careful to keep the sweat out of your eyes and not to rub them. When can I go to a tanning bed? You should wait one week after surgery before tanning and be sure to always wear sealed eye protection as well as keeping your eye closed. When can I go swimming? Don't get any water in your eyes for at least one week and that includes swimming and showering. While you're in the shower the first week, let the water go behind your head and not hit you directly in the face. Scuba diving is okay after one week. When can I fly on an airplane? We prefer you to stay in town for one week after the surgery. But if you've made prior arrangements with us, flying in an airplane the day after surgery will not hurt your eyes. Remember that airplanes are dry and take the artificial tears with you. How long do I have to wear the sunglasses? You need to wear sunglasses for one month anytime you're outside. You can use any pair of sunglasses you like. When will you put the anesthetic drops in my eye? The anesthetic drops are put in immediately prior to the surgery and they only take a few seconds to take effect. We'll have a chance to talk before the surgery and I can answer any remaining questions. The last section of this video is a review of monovision. Monovision is an alternative refractive LASIK procedure best suited for patients over 40 who have presbyopia, which is trouble seeing up close. If you're not having monovision, you can stop the video right now. In monovision, the dominant eye is corrected for distance and the non-dominant eye is corrected for near. Monovision is a compromise with advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are that monovision allows for glasses-free vision at near and far for most tasks. The disadvantages are that for reading fine print such as stock quotes or phone books, threading needles, prolonged reading, or reading in dim light, you may still need reading glasses. Night driving, especially in unfamiliar surroundings or in the rain, as well as intense distance activities such as tennis or golf, may require distance correction in the nearsighted eye. So this would mean having a pair of glasses to put on if you feel the need. Your current glasses can be modified to meet this if necessary. It can take four weeks or more to fully adapt to the monovision correction. During this adjustment period, your vision may seem unbalanced, but be patient and it will pay off. In the slight chance that after three months you're not comfortable with monovision, I will enhance your nearsighted eye for distance correction, but then you will need reading glasses for all near tasks. Mm -hmm.